besides this beautiful tree, this beautiful tree actually is behind me. It's a home to a colony of herons, to pigeons, to squirrels, and to the occasional magpie. It is full of life and it is alive. It's in awareness. Our ancestors saw trees as tree spirits. They connect with them, they worship with them. How often do we connect with nature? At a time when there is a lot of suffering in the world, opening our heart to trees around us can help us feel relaxed and calm, nurtured a bit in these times. There are stories from the Buddha's life about his connection with trees. One of the stories is around the rose apple tree. Siddhartha, who became Buddha, had done all the aesthetic practices, had been on the path for a long time and had been doing these practices and then at one point he realized this is too much effort and a memory came to him about sitting as a child under a rose apple tree his father was plowing it was a sunny day bird song on the wind and there was that sense of just relaxation and contentment the other story is Siddhartha sitting under the Bodhi tree. He may have sat there for weeks, he may have sat there for days, maybe even months, we don't know. But as he sat, he sat under the beauty of this Bodhi tree, of this tree who surrounded and enveloped him and nurtured him. And at one point when the dark forces of the mind were all involved in his mind, he called on the earth goddess to witness that he had been practicing many years, many lifetimes, and had now, I was now ready to become a Buddha. And the, the mudra of the Buddha touching the earth, which is seen in a lot of rupas, is that, is that in a sense, his, his witnessing of his own experience and his gratitude to the tree, in my view. We also can sit in our meditation practice and connect with that sense of stability, the grounding of trees. We also can look out the window and enjoy maybe a tree that's near us. We can see it in our garden, on the road, on the street. Or maybe we can imagine the mythical, magical beings that are trees. Have a lovely day. Sloan Gafoyle.